His last exhibited painting, shown in the last ever Academy show at Somerset House, was an act of homage to Sir George Beaumont, who had died in 1827, and to the man who'd founded the Academy, Sir Joshua Reynolds. It shows the cenotaph, a memorial to Reynolds erected in the grounds at Cole Orton. It's painted in Beaumont's favourite autumnal tones. It raises English art to a level with the old masters. But there's something else here too. We've got Michelangelo, we've got the monument to Sir Joshua Reynolds, we've got Raphael, all in the grove built by Sir George Beaumont. But where's Constable? I think he included himself as the stag, fleeting representative of the landscape tradition, a tradition of art which he knew still hadn't been fully accepted into the pantheon. I think the cenotaph was a defiant picture as well as a simple homage. Constable was a learned painter and he knew very well that by putting a stag into a painting he was recalling the ancient myth of Diana and Actaeon. Actaeon the hunter, who spied the goddess while bathing, was turned into a stag and hunted down by his own dogs. It's a love story and I think it has a bearing on Constable's own love story. He too had been transformed by his affections for a woman, Mariah. Somehow it had enabled him to open himself up to feeling to open painting up to feeling in a new way. But towards the end of his life, as those feelings turned bitter and desperate after Mariah's death, I think Constable realized that this could be a curse as well as a blessing. He knew that he'd taken painting to a place darker and more troubling than he'd ever dreamed of.